Brady has been put in the quarterback and Drew Bledsoe taken out. Tom Brady's first NFL touchdown pass. Tom Brady, overrated. Brady fires right. Touchdown, David Penn. Touchdown to David Gibbons. Brady, look, look, fires to the right. The Patriots are Super Bowl oh, yeah. champions. The Patriots are going to be Super Bowl champions again. Oh, yeah. Touchdown. Tom Brady. Let's go! Touchdown pass number 50. Tom Brady just won't quit. Let's win, baby. Best ever. The best ever in my book. The Patriots are going to be Super Bowl champions again. Once again, it's Tom Brady. <laughs> We're bringing this sucker home. The Patriots have won their sixth Super Bowl title. Foxborough loves Tom Brady. Because let's face it, he's the franchise. All right, here are the Cliffs notes on Tom Brady's insane resume. 20 NFL seasons with the Patriots, all for Bill Belichick, drafted in that sixth round, number 199 in 2000. And Brady won his seventh Super Bowl, fifth Super Bowl MVP with the Bucks just last season. Brady addressing his return to Foxborough on his Sirius XM podcast. Let's go with Larry Fitzgerald and Jim Gray. You know, I have a lot of obviously tremendous memories I have some of the greatest experiences of my life took past, took place in the last 20 years, um, personally and professionally. And, um, you know, going back to a place that I know so well with so many friends um, will be a really exciting thing for everybody. And I think as the ball gets kicked off, I know it's going to be kind of a normal football game and I'm going to have to go do what I've always tried to do is be a great quarterback for the team that I'm playing on. And I'd love to go up there and get a win against a really great football team. Kept it pretty even there. As promised, Kimmy Tex joining us here in studio. And Robin Sean with us here as well. All right, listen. Who are the Patriots fans going to be rooting for in this one, guys? Think about it well. Home team or the dude that won six Super Bowls for them, Sean? Well, look, I know Tom Brady is excited to go back uh, to the place that he called home for 20 years. Mike Robb knows this as well. When you go back and play your former team, you definitely want to ball out. You want to win. There's a lot of respect on both sides, though. But, look, TB is all about business in th with this. And I think Patriots fans are, too. I think they're going to cheer him initially. I don't think he gets booed whatsoever. But once the game gets going, look, they're all in on Mac Jones. They want a winner. They want to show up on Monday talking about how their Patriots – dethrone the defending Super Bowl champs. That's what this is all about. I think for, for Brady, look, the, it's going to be emotional. It, 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 when he hears the fans and the things that they're going to tell him, we miss you, we love you, you're still the man. I mean, he's going to have to block that out just as much as he would the booze when he goes and plays the birds down in Philly. But uh, once the game gets started, I expect Tom to try to light it up. I wouldn't be shocked if he asked B.A. to throw the ball 65 times. Uh, Sean, I totally agree with you, bro. Uh, I do. I think the fan base, they, they, they got a lot of love for Tom Brady. Obviously, six Super Bowls, all the, all the seasons, all of those things, all the history. But at the end of the day, they're in the New England Patriots stadium, okay? And that's their team, and that's who they're going to be rooting for. And uh, quite frankly, I think Tom Brady breaks the all-time passer record uh, uh, during this game. And I, I, I'm just wondering, are they going to stop the game? Are they going to, you know, make a big presentation for Tom Brady? I, yeah, he used to play there, but he don't play there anymore. And when people get a chance, please listen to the Total Access Podcast. I got to do this little plug, guys, because <laughs> Scott Pioli, who was part of the, part of the New England Patriots uh, front office who drafted uh, Tom Brady, cool stories about Tom Brady's work ethic and work habits and things like that, things that make him great. Take a listen when you guys get a chance. Now, Sean, I said, you know, you said the Patriots want Mac Jones to be that guy. They want Mac Jones to be the next Tom Brady, uh, the quarterback franchise or the franchise quarterback that they lost. But the thing is, there's no one who does it better than Tom Brady. And, it, you know, like we keep alluding to, I think there's going to be a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. So I don't think the fans are going to boo Tom Brady. But once Tom Brady starts putting up the points for the Buccaneers and they saw what they lost, I think the patience is going to wear a little bit more thin for <laughs> Mac Jones and his rookie starts. Yeah, I also think Mac Jones has a long way to go before he earns right. that spot, no question. I think the fans will keep it classy and at least show the nod once they show the love. All right, it's game time. Let's keep it moving. Right. And once you get into the X's and O's, you got to remember the history here, right, y'all? Like, 
Belichick and Brady were together for two decades. So does Belichick, in this sense, uh, M. Rob, have an advantage in game planning here versus his former QB? Mm, good question, MJ. I I'm going to say no. I don't think B Bill Belichick has the advantage in this matchup simply because, and Sean, you know what I'm talking about, man. He's a coach, all right? All he can do is direct people what to do. He can't go out there and go actually sack Tom Brady, go actually <laughs> yeah. disguise coverage. He can't actually be out there as a player, right? So I think Tom Brady has the advantage in, in, that, in that regard. But look, at the end of the day, you're not going to fool Tom Brady. You know, like you fooled Zach Wilson, like you fooled some of these uh, other quarterbacks in the National Football League. He's seen everything. And I think Tom Brady has the advantage because he knows how Bill Belichick thinks. Do you not think that Tom, Tom Brady's standing up in front of, you know, the offense and the entire team telling them exactly how the New England Patriots prepare? To me, that's what gives the Tampa Bay Buccaneers um, an advantage, just knowing the thought process, knowing exactly the thoughts and, and how he thinks about football, uh, talking about Bill Belichick. You know, listen, Bill Belichick can go to the video all he wants, but in reality, he had a front row seat on how to beat Tom Brady twice. I think when you look at Tom Brady, make him uncomfortable in the pocket. Get after his you-know-what. Make him move. Hit him. It doesn't have to be a sack. A quarterback hit while he's throwing is just as effective, if not more, than an actual sack. So just get him off the spot. Get him uncomfortable. I think Josh McDaniels might actually have a little more insight as to what Tom struggles with, what he doesn't see well, what coverages does he not like. Uh, but no doubt it's going to come down to Matt Judon and Josh Uche. Can they get after Tom Brady? But I don't want us to just focus on the Tom Brady and the Bill Belichick He's aspect missing. of that game because Bruce Arians like, listen, I just won a Super Bowl. Okay, so y'all need to put some respect on my name. He's going to make sure that the game script is going to favor the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's going to ensure that the game script also favors Tom Brady to be like, hey, this is what you lost. I'm his coach now. You may have won five Super Bowls or six Super Bowls. I just won one last season, and we're going to do it again in Los Angeles. Look Ooh. at me. I'm the captain right. now. Don't forget right. Gronk also returning there to Foxborough. Y'all just give me some popcorn. I'm ready for this show.